Hello everybody and welcome back to Dwaros, where Shelab is gonna try and work out what on earth this whole thing in Stone Man Falls is again and probably totally fail but it doesn't matter because at least she's tried. So I'll spend another few minutes looking at it and I think that's gonna be the thing today. It's gonna be spend a few minutes looking at stuff. Oh. Spend a few minutes looking at it, and then if I really don't get it, then I'll go do other things for a bit and just let it sort of germinate in my brain, because that does seem to be the way I've solved most things. I just sort of let it... Let me just put a personal waypoint up there, because I'm going to need to head there quite a bit, probably. Um, but yeah, I just let things germinate and let things grow in my brain and, and work out things, like sometimes even in my sleep. It's pretty cool. But we can now make uh, Dwilburn a faster collector, which is pretty awesome too. Let's have a look around here. I might bring Dwilburn up here and see if any keg nades work or anything like that and blow a few holes in things. <laughs> it's always good to blow a few holes in things, right? Yeah. All right, so. Past his right hand. And his right hand is here. There's a secret stone path. And a part of me thought if I could jump well enough, I would be able to do this. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, the thing is, I do wonder whether maybe there's a possibility that another character... Oh, I fell in. If there's a possibility that another character would be able to do more here, I don't know. see in there. I hate nothing more than not being able to see. As you guys that watch me in like seven days or whatever and know full well. Yeah. See that there looks like I could jump on it. I literally was pressing shift to try and take a running jump there. I'm also kind of wondering if there is any way that I can get onto his hand. think I can jump far enough to do any of that no absolutely not gonna happen worth a try also worth a try is to jump onto his hand no
trying to work out where a path might go. Around there, there's like an end of, there's something there. Like the end of a waterfall or something, but there's no waterfall actually going down there. Unless it's just beyond his face, I'm trying to look. There's no rocks that have any like cracks in them that look like that look like they're meant I mean generally in this game rocks that are meant to be have that happen to them they they look like it you know I'm not being super scientific here because I'm trying the same things and expecting a different result. Which is not very scientific at all. But I just, it's just because I can't think of what else to do. That is far too steep. See, I've had a really good look around here. I've had a pretty good look around here, to be fair. I'm going to check out the other side of the ancient garden maze. Let's teleport there, actually. Just have a good look around there, because I haven't really had a good look. I just went and did the quest. <clears throat> so I would like to see what's up there. There's a big old wall. Okay. A hut down here. That might have a quartz crystal in it too. So that was definitely worth coming to if that if that is what's in there. Sometimes. Yep, nice. Need a couple more of those. Then we get to the kind of edge of the maze at that point. There, so... If I want to look beyond it, I need to teleport to the ancient maze stones. So that will let me go around this side. But I believe I've already checked all the way around this side. And not really seen an awful lot that will help me with the Stone Man Falls puzzle. But that's okay. See like the hut on the other side. I think this is the same hedge we were on the other side of a minute ago, pretty sure. Hope, I hope it is, anyway. <laughs> so. Still can't find my goblin pal. I'm just going to check out this to see if um, if this is the same as some of the other ones where there's like 
generally, oh yeah, this will be a hidden lever one, definitely. But it's just a case of finding out where the hidden lever is. Might be some kind of rock pile or something like that around the place. I'm just thinking if I get some height, I could maybe look a bit better. There we are. Oh, I didn't think to check if that counted as a puzzle. No, it doesn't, because it's like still 31 out of 42 that I have done. I'm not entirely sure why that's there. Uh... Just for funsies, I guess. But yeah, let's go see what's up in the tower. And then, like I say, I can have a good old... Uh... I haven't seen Watt in a while, either. I think he's just happy, though. I think he's just... Like, after we did that test for him, I think he was just happy after that. So whether he's got anything else to say now, we've opened Mushroom Grove, I'm not sure. Sprite and some vases. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. I glitched right through the wall. Now I've forgotten which side the, the platform's on. This side. I nearly tripped over it. Oh gosh, we're full on stone. Didn't realise that. Pretty cool though. Gentle landing. I can see absolutely nothing down there as well, so yeah, that wasn't much use, but we got some stuff. I'm gonna get the ghost over there because it's annoying me. The sprite, sorry. The sprite over here is annoying me. I need to get. There we are. Promet, let me know your secrets. Let me know them. I thought it would be easy once I got to this side. I thought I'd be just like, but it's, it's, it's I suppose it is hidden. It's a hidden stone path past his right hand. feel like I need to jump onto his right hand but don't know entirely how I would achieve that jump on Gloria's head or something I don't know jump up a tree oh, he sometimes moves his hand Fingers down. Would I be able to jump onto his little finger at that point? Maybe. I'm clever enough. Just making sure. I 
I'll just jump onto his hand with enough of a run up because, you know, if I could, that would be really cool. Shaking your head at me like, haha. -ha. Okay, gonna bring Dwilbon up here. I'm gonna see if I can blow anything up. Because when at first you don't succeed, try dynamite. No, I'm being really bald-headed about this, I know. And I should probably just do some other puzzles and stuff. If I can't blow stuff up with Wilburn, I promise that we'll go and visit whatever dragon dude is on that Mesa in the middle there. I promise we'll do that. But I want to see my goblin friend one last time. I've got 12 explosive charges. That should be enough to do a bit. Obviously, I can just send Horbit to find more if I need to. thing I could try is getting someone to talk to him, even. Gosh, I need to not have that equipped until I literally want to plant it. Okay, so the first boulder I will try is this one. Not surprisingly, it didn't work. And I want to try and see how far Dwilbin can run up the balls. Probably about as far as far they can, yeah. I'm gonna set another charge like here. But kind of as expected. Didn't really help. Right hand is pointing a certain way. There's kind of a stone path here. It kind of goes in a very windy line, okay. jumping or getting up there or anything it was pointing I worked it out that was a really that was the rubbishest stone path in the world though how you doing dude Ebner a dwarf hmm? don't worry I'm not plotting to take over your mice those days are long gone I almost miss seeing one of your kind charging hefting a mighty war hammer over their head like it was nothing I can see it in you you've got the tools of a miner but you've got the blood of a warrior the old goblin starts coughing hard, using the rock to balance himself. Well, don't worry about me, just needed to catch my breath. Not as young as I used to be. Have you ever heard the old saying, you can never go home? It's true, you know, everything changes and the places you remember just aren't there anymore. Not in the way you remember. I tried to go home, back to the town I'd grown up in. In some ways, things changed too much. In other ways, they hadn't changed enough. I'd changed too. Couldn't relate to the goblins my own age. There was a lot of bitterness among them. Losing a war does that. When they wanted someone to blame, instead of looking inward, they turned to everyone else. The old folks were still waiting for the king to come back and launch another war. 
They all acted like I was crazy when I said we should try getting along with everybody else. The young people? I couldn't even understand them. At least they didn't seem interested in war. I heard about a... Call... He sells coffee and he seems to be having some difficulty catching his breath. No, 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 really, don't worry about me. Where was I? I heard about a call for adventurers and explorers. The dwarves and elves were putting together a colony in the new lands across the sea. If you can't go home, why not make a new one? So I jumped at the chance. Didn't mind I was the only goblin there. I wasn't all that interested in the colony building. It was the wilds that called to me. The dwarves were building their castle while I was off in the wilderness or in a ruin, exploring. I was by myself, but I never really felt alone. Somehow, wandering far from civilization, like the old days, made me feel like Ildi was still with me. I met the neighbor on one of my journeys. They were curious about me. I stayed with them for a while, for a time, sorry, while we learned to try to learn each other's languages. Generous hosts, good people. We learned to understand each other. I taught the others too. Literally wrote the book on neighbor language and culture. Maybe you read it on the boat ride here. Being able to talk to the natives was a boon. They knew things about the land we didn't. There was some kind of a calamity coming, a storm of some sort. We weren't prepared to face it. Wow, this might be what happened. Didn't have the supplies to last and our crops weren't growing like we'd hoped. Thanks to their warning, we knew what to look for when the first signs started appearing. The others, they all started packing their things into boats and abandoned the colony. Me? I learned enough about the land to survive off of it. There was nothing for me back in the old country, so I stayed in the place for that. For the first time in a long time, felt like home. Starts coughing again, wipes his mouth. You catch a glimpse of blood. Oh, I need to shut up. You've been so patient while I flap my gums at you. Maybe when you're old like me, you'll understand the impulse to blabber your life story at every passerby. Here, you can have what's in the chest. I don't need it anymore. Oh, Ebner, please, I don't want you to die. In the swamp of muck and bubble, reached from the stones of friends, at the far end alone hovel, you'll find where his path ends. Say, come visit me at my house sometime. On foot the route is difficult and hidden, but it's easy if you use the, those friendship stones. I'll show you how. Muck top sto swamp stones discovered. Aww. Thank you, dude. So how many we got now? Two soul quartz. And we need five. Should easily be able to find another two, at least, in those puzzles. Okay, so we we have discovered our way into a... S is that the swamp, then? Is that his home? Is that the swampy home? The muck tock swamp. Yes! Okay, so that's the very last area that we have now unlocked. So I'm going to probably leave that for another day. And what we're going to work on for the rest of this episode, we've got... 23 minutes in and I've worked I, I worked it out. That was the worst stone path ever. Oh my goodness. It was terrible. It was literally that. And then I followed it. But my goodness me, it's not it's a dirt path as well. <laughs> I just followed it because I was so desperate to find any kind of path and then it was like the right thing. That's kind of crazy, but yeah, if you're wondering where Ebner is... Ebner, okay. Locations. Here. He then moves... Here. He then moves... Here. Where Dwilbin is. So... Promet is basically pointing at him. That's what that's about. No jumping puzzle, no nothing. I was thinking too complicated. He was just pointing at him. Then into the swamp. So there's four places you can find him. This is wonderful. So how many puzzles do we have left? Still, still haven't solved any more. Do you know what? I'm going to make it 32. So then we've got 10 left to do. So let's go and find a puzzle we can do.
over here. I expect there'll be some more minor puzzles. Oh, I mean, they count as major trials, though, don't they? I don't know, then. I don't know how many more minor puzzles there's going to be. There might be some in the swamp to do, though. Let's bring my friendos over here and do this puzzle. Hello, friendos! Right, Dwilba needs to be the first uh, to blow up this door. Okay. And in here we have some boxes with a button on top. We have a thing to smash. Which I just shall smash. We have another lever there. We have... A little way up here with some more stuff. Okay. And the puzzle is called. You always need to take note of what a puzzle is called because that sometimes gives you a clue as to how to solve it. It's called the If Dwarven's Big Fat Head, was, head Wasn't In The Way I'd Be Able To See What This Puzzle Was Called Puzzle. Wow, cool. Called the Dwilba nearly got stuck puzzle. Yay! I imagine he needs to stand there and do that lever, probably. All right, Horby, Mister, I'm good at jumping. Let's see if you can jump up there. No, you can't. Okay, good, good try, good start. Oh yeah, you might want to go on that platform for a minute and see what uh, what the deal is with that. So let's get Orbit to step off there, and bring the platform back down, or not? Is that permanently stuck down now? Oh, okay. In that case, See, with someone that's as good at jumping as him, we could just probably jump up onto that. Oops. Probably not what you're meant to do. Might work. No, I don't think it does work. Okay, that's fine. I need to find a way to get these levers to move then. So let's just see what happens when the switch is pulled. Where does that one go to? Alright. Methinks I need to be on that one. I need to find out where it goes though, where it where it moves to. Okay, moves over there, fine. I will stand on it. And that will allow me to jump up to here. Wonderful. So then... A little jump onto that. Done. Everything's falling down! 
Guys, get all the stuff that falls down. Some more black powder. And another soul quartz. So we are now up to three out of the five we need. We need two more puzzles. And we have all the artifacts. And then it's just really working on the town. Until we can get it good enough to get the queen to come. But the more artifacts and things we have, the better that's going to be. Okay, so let's see what else we've got around here. What other things. Let's see if we can get this artifact unlocked by the end of the episode. We could maybe do that if we're really quick at the puzzles. And then we could do that, I reckon. Not that I found too many puzzles around here. Let's go and do the oscillating wave puzzle. Let's teleport everybody. Because I'm lazy. Did we pick up all the stuff? There was stuff that fell down. We did pick it all up, right? I think so. Okay, cool. And then we can maybe go up here. See what's there. Might be another trial in there. I don't know. Apparently we've done all the trials, but... Always with the personal waypoints, you know what I'm like. No sense of direction. Do you know what? That's not true. Like I'm, I'm okay at navigating with a map in the car. Not so good at just generally. Okay, so oscillating ways. Not so good at generally finding my way though. So let's just, you know, feel out the puzzle. Oh, nice! In a kind of terrifying way. A certain amount of time to get across there. Yeah, this could take me a little while. It's just a big old jumping puzzle, really, isn't it? At the end of the day, big old moving jumping puzzle. That I either will or won't do. Because you certainly can't just run through it. You've got to jump. And it's all moving and crazy. And it's just going to be a case of attempts. And maybe a spot of luck. Just a wee spot of luck. Oh, I made it a bit further that time. Okay. Okay. I wait for it to power down because I don't want to get across there and the thing comes up. I'll be like, no! No! This is definitely a skill one. And I don't have much in the way of skill. kind of can't see. That's one of the things that I don't like about this, is you can't really see too well where you jump in. Oh! Genius. Extremely lucky genius. Mm. 
soul crystal. So that one was really short. It was just very skill based. Um, so anybody who don't have the skills to pay the bills can struggle with that one. A lot. We just keep trying. Eventually you'll luck it out. Okay. Next stop. Next stop. Dragon Mountain, or in through here? Dragon Mountain, I think. So there is a mountain around here, what has a dragon on it. And I am extremely curious as to whether I can go see said dragon. There seems to be a possible way up right there. We will head for it and see if that is a way up or if it's just pretending to be a way up. Also, I think there's another waypoint over here, which is really cool. Also, some more peeps can go live in my village. What's this one? The Backwood Road Stones. Discovered. I love that really the end of this is like all about the goblin's tail. Like, what's tail finished like a couple of episodes back? Mind you, I haven't been to see what in a little while, and I'm kind of tempted to go and have a, a chat. I've just got a feeling. I'll just send Horbit. I mean, they all have to go into the thing anyway. Um. But yeah, I've got a little bit of a feeling that maybe I should go back and see him because we've made a lot of progress and we haven't chatted to him in a while. So maybe he'd be really interested in the storm that uh, Ebony was telling us about. We've got one more racer to get. I wonder if there is one in the mushroom grove anywhere. I'd love to have all the races done. That'd be really pretty cool. I mean, you do just get quartz crystals from them, but I I think without the races, you might struggle to get enough. But it might be that Watt has just done his thing, had his day. Yep, still nothing. Okay. That's fine. I think uh, I think we've we're done with Watt then. That was it. He he went into the corrupted stone. He realized that the neighbor were actually maybe descendants of his people, and then he was pretty happy. He was he, he wasn't like he's at peace now. I think. But I just wanted to check. But yeah, I, as I say, I think the proper story of the people will be told by Abner, and I think that will be probably the very end of the game. So for me, I think I'm going to leave going to the swamp until I've done as much as I can. And also the Queen's Visit as well. That might be another ending thing. I don't know which will come first, honestly. Let's go back over here. See if we can find... See if we can find dragons. Because it looks like we might be able to get up there around here somewhere. I don't know. Check this out. There seems to be a, like a rock along here that you can get up onto the wall from, which might allow me to see more about what to do. It might even allow me up onto there. We'll have to see. Okay, there's a lever here, which does a platform. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's an up and down platform. Up onto here. Okay. Let's check it out. Whee! I mean, there was a picture of a dragon. I am expecting no less than a dragon. Okay. Okay, game. I'm expecting no less than a dragon up here. Oh my goodness, there's a dragon up here! Oh! Don't run 
run away? Oh my goodness, it's tameable! What? Dragon is only level nine. Oh my goodness! Who am I going to even name this dragon after? Oh my goodness! Hang on. We need a patron. I'm gonna have to, I'll have to do like, I don't know, like a, 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 something, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know, um, 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 um I apologize that the desktop audio is gone because I'm tapped out, but we need, it has to be someone super important to the community, I just ended up calling it Shelab. Okay, right. No. I, I want to leave, yes. The dragon will wait just a second. I need to know who we've got. We've got a Maple, a Cthulhu, an Ixius, a Jin, and an Emmaton. We don't have a Tristfall then anymore. And I believe that Tristfallen is my biggest supporter on Patreon. Yeah, Trish Fallen's getting this one, I think. Citizens need entertainment. No. Well, they can have a dragon to entertain them. That'd be good entertainment, right? Good so far. Dragon was startled by something. Silly again. We're up to a hundred, but now we've got a distraction. Got a distraction coming up in a minute as well. That wasn't too bad a distraction. I might start building... Oh, we've got two more. Okay, I'm going to start trying to gain trust. But depending on how bad these distractions end up being, we might have trouble, but... No, okay so far. The startles aren't too bad. So I'll just carry on with that then. Trust is going up super slow though. Might be a long tame. That was a big distraction. I'll keep going though. Hopefully I'll get the ear scratches um, and things like that soon, which will give interest as well. And this is a dragon. I mean, it's going to take a bit. Right. Oh, the trust went down a bit there as well. I needed that. Desperately needed that. That was good. 21%. It took the attention away. I need desperately to get the, the ear scratches and stuff soon. Let's see what this distraction does. Okay, didn't take the trust away though. Built some good trust. Come on, I really need that ear scratch. Okay, 
mean, lots are perfect, but... Please give me an ear scratch. Yes, we've got an ear scratch. So the attention is going to come back up as well now. Which is great. Okay, the attention went down there quite considerably. But we're getting the trust now. The attention is getting low times 0.5. Paying attention times one. Okay, we're back to paying attention. That's good. The trust is coming up. I'm concentrating lots here. You might have noticed. Please do not overtake with the startle. Please let me have my go first. Okay, cool. Attention's coming up slowly. She says, losing attention. Still paying attention, though. A bit more trust, I'll get a head tussle, and that'll help considerably. No, oh, it was only a good. I can't get perfect every time, though, I suppose. As long as I don't lose the ear scratch, that's the main thing. The interest is coming up. Oh no! You beat me on the startle. I'm only getting goods and not perfects, which is a problem. Massive problem. Oh, the dragon is curious. Oh, I got a freebie basically there. Wonderful. So many distractions is so bad. Paying attention. The attention is really low now. But I got a perfect head tussle, yes! Here we go. We're getting the trust, we're getting the trust, come on. I'll keep that attention just a little bit longer. Come on, little dragon. 19%. I may have to um, act silly and lose a little trust. Just to get the attention back. And then lose loads of it, probably. Yeah. Annoying, but never mind. I think we... I'm going to act silly again. There we are. We've got lots of interest now. Should just keep us going for a little while. Lost a bit of trust there. But now I can start building the trust up again. I couldn't afford to lose the interest, you see. Especially with ones like that. That was awful. I think I could still get away with a head tussle there. Got a little startle there, but nothing awful. I'm up to nearly 80% trust now. We're on to hugs now. Yes! This is the only creature I've ever tried to tame that's taken more than one hug. That's insane. Done! Yes, we have a dragon pet! 
Oh yes. So, with a dragon companion, what do you get? What are its stats? You get improved chances for good things to happen, e.g. jackpots. Each badge increases the amount of wood that's collected at the end of each interest period, increases the maximum wood storage by 7,137 when following Wilbon. Each badge increases wood production by 0 0.01 for a total of 0 0.1. Food storage increase, if following Gloya. Maximum stamina of 86 when following Dwil, uh, sorry, Horbeer. Ability to find food, plus two, and stamina rate boost. Increases the running speed limit when following. Gosh, I need two of these guys. Are there any more? Do you only have one? There's a sprite there. <gasps> no, you can have more than one dragon. Ooh, I'm gonna go past this one just slowly. The whole place is covered in dragons. We can, everyone can have a dragon pet. Every single one of us. What's up the top of here then? Oh, right, okay. Whoa, there's a red dragon. Oh my goodness. Are you tameable too? Or, or can I speak to you? Whoa! Yes, I want to leave. I don't think I'm doing a level 11 dragon. However, I reckon I can tame a few Greek. There's a blue dragon? What level are you? Level 10. Okay, I'm gonna tame some more green dragons until I'm a bit higher than a level 16. Ah! Oh, Whoa, there's like three gems up here. Ah, oh, Dragon Mountain is so cool. <laughs> I'm such a geek. This is like the best time ever. So now I can unlock the, the, the things. Now we can come up here whenever we want and try and tame dragons. Oh, devs, I love you so much. <laughs> you made me a whole Dragon Mountain. There's lots of different coloured dragons on it. Oh my goodness me. Okay, I'm gonna go back. And, uh, no, actually I'm not. I'm gonna end the episode here with the awesome green dragon tamed and red and blue dragons ready to tame too. We can, oh, the only thing that would be better if we could ride them a fly. <laughs> That's amazing so happy okay so anyway that's the end of the episode for today so i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please do leave me a like below if you like dragons leave me a like below and uh if you would like to see more doros i think there's probably gonna be just a couple more episodes let's say visit to the queen we've got to go see ebnir we've got to tame two more dragons two more dragons and uh and and yeah so if you want to see more then please do subscribe and i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>